for a lot of you, I'm sure you recognize this this little carbine here. This is a Ruger 1022. Um, I don't know production numbers, but it's got to be one of the most popular 22 rifles in America. Um, it's a semi-auto, uh, 22 caliber long rifle. Um, just a great little gun. Um, people can fix these up. You know, this one I've added sling swivels. And I've added you know the magazine release. Um, I put the scope rail on it. Um, but you'll see some people put very expensive, very nice barrels on here. Uh, and once you have that really expensive, nice barrel, there's a great way to clean it. I'm going to show you how to clean this from the receiver end. Um, and so you don't get any kind of muzzle wear, you don't damage your crown. Um, and it's probably the best way to clean your 1022. All right, before we, before we clean our Ruger 1022, let's, let's remove the magazine. And we'll show everybody that we are empty. We're doing this safe. And if you're on the YouTube police, uh, you can see that I'm doing this safely. All right, the Ruger 1022 comes apart really, I won't spend a lot of time with this, it comes apart real easy. You have the screw here for, the, for, that, for that barrel band. This doesn't need to be removed, just loosened. Now it'll slide off the end. You have your, your main screw here underneath. This is also, this is what's a, called a captured screw. Once you loosen it up, it, it stays, it's, it's, un, it's undone, it's not, it's not threaded, but it stays inside the, stays inside the stock. Move your safety lever to halfway between fire and safe, and the whole action just drops right out of the stock. We'll set the stock aside for now. All right, this trigger group is being held in by these, by these two pins. And sometimes these pins are really loose, sometimes they don't practically fall out, other times they need to be pushed out. You don't really need to drive them out. And as a good rule, when you're working on guns, anytime you're driving a pin out, go from right to left. Anytime we're putting a pin in, we'll go left to right. I'm gonna set a little little rubber block down here. That's that hockey puck we, we did in the, in the previous video. Now I'm just gonna push these pins right out. Let's see if this one comes out or not. This one's gonna take a little bit of persuasion. And you see that, like I said, it, it, comes, it comes right out. That whole trigger group is gonna come out, we'll set that aside. So we've got these two pins. We'll set those aside so we don't lose those. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole operation is removing the bolt. You got your bolt handle. We'll bring this all the way back. This is gonna, oh, I'm sorry. The, we need to drive this buffer out first. Again, we'll drive it out from, from right to left. And we'll just tap that right out. I don't know why I'm in such a big rush, but I feel like I'm hurrying. Um, drive that, 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 that bushing, that, uh, the buffer, I think it's called. And then this whole bolt, this whole bolt will slide back and we'll just lift it up and it comes right out. And then this bolt handle is spring loaded. We'll take that out the side. Now we've got a completely disassembled receiver and barrel. We'll leave the barrel on there and you'll see it on the back of it. You see that hole? That's where the cleaning rod is going to go. And you can tell in this picture right here that that hole is completely perfectly lined up with the bore. So when I put it in the vise and I run that cleaning rod down there, it's going to be perfect match, perfect fit, and we'll get this thing all cleaned up. All right, once you've got your re barrel receiver in that, and, 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 the, and mine's in a padded vise, you can do it in a gun cleaning vise too. Um, I'm using a 22 cleaning rod, specifically for 22 rifles. This one is made by uh, Dewey, and it has that ball bearing handle. These things are pretty sweet, um, but it's got that coated, coated rod, so I'm not going to give any kind of wear any kind of damage to the barrel. All right, so let's put that patch on the, the jag. We'll run it through. So we've got that wet patch. Run that right down. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Not that dirty. But we're getting no muzzle wear. We're getting no you know, uh, no um, wear at the end of the barrel. We're not going to affect the crown at all. And that's the best way to clean your uh, barrel, especially if you have a, a high-end barrel. We only want to clean in one direction. You got to do that through that open hole at the end of the receiver. Let me take a dry patch now. I'll run a dry patch through there. down the 
bore. There we go. Yeah. Throw that on the floor. That's what you do with those. All right. So we'll keep running dry patches down until it comes out clean and we'll put it all back together. Once everything's all cleaned up, we just have to assemble it in the reverse order we took it apart. That little bolt handle is going to go in first. We'll put our bolt in. We'll put our trigger group. We'll put it all back together. All right, put our, we put our bolt back in. We'll put that buffer back in. This can take this little tap. Practically falls in. We'll take that trigger group. We'll put that back in. And again, these, these, these pins should just go right in without too much trouble. That one just practically fell in. This one here is going to be a little bit stubborn. This is one of the stuff coming out, but I'll give it just a little tap of the brass hammer just to make sure it's flush. See, it went right in. All right, now we've got our, we've got our barreled action all put back together. This will go back in the stock. This whole thing is just going to drop back in the stock. We'll make sure that safety is halfway between safe and fire. This whole thing will just drop right in now. There we go. I'm going to tighten up this receiver screw. band back on. Remember we just loosen that screw so there's no screws to go find. Just kind of snug that down a little bit. We're back in action. How about that? There we are. All cleaned. All ready to go. We got that nice hole at the back of the receiver that you can't even see. It's completely hidden. Didn't detract at all from the good looks of that rifle. Now we can take it out and get it all dirty again.